Welcome to the special Mitzvah Seder. We at Beth Torah are so honored, so happy, so thrilled to have you join us at this very special Seder. We so wish we could be together in the room, but as they said, next year, right? Next year in Jerusalem, next year we say together at Beth Torah in the room to celebrate the Passover Seder and the holiday together. This is my Haggadah. This is the telling of the story, the greatest story from slavery to freedom. God wanted us to be free, to take care of ourselves, to take care of each other, and to help others be free. That's the great lesson of Passover. This is the Seder we're going to enjoy together. Thank you so much for being with us. You honor us, and it's a great privilege. Chag Sameach. A happy, healthy, and zisen sweet Passover holiday to you. So we've just heard from Rabbi Farber, longtime rabbi in the congregation, and he absolutely loves Pesach. And now he's a love Pesach. He loves the idea of our all being able to be here together. And this year it's not possible for us all be together at one time, but we certainly can feel each other connected. And that's one of the things that I wanted us to be able to do, is to say that we bring peace to one another. And this wonderful song that has only three words, Havenu Shalom Aleichem, says we bring peace to each other. Havenu Shalom Aleichem. Havenu Shalom Aleichem. Havenu Shalom Aleichem. The Haggadah. And Haggadah means the telling of the story. So it's more than just simply a booklet. It's got songs, it's got prayers, it's got pages that are with pictures and helping you to feel very much at home in this experience. The Seder Table. So inside your booklets and also on the screen is a picture of the Seder table, which is in front of me. And I know that some of you don't have a table in front of you. So let me tell you, as we're sharing together, what's on the Seder table. We have the candles that we'll be bringing in the holiday. We didn't light them yet. We have the wine for the grape juice for us for making the Kiddush. And we didn't drink anything yet. We have also on the table matzah, and matzah is going to be part of what we're eating tonight and during the holiday of Passover. We have a Seder plate. It tells us about the different things that we have to have. And I have water here, not just for drinking, but water for our dipping something into salt water because the salt water is going to remind us of tears. You also see two other cups we're not going to drink from. There's a cup of Elijah and a cup of Miriam. Hine Matov, the words will be on your screen. You are welcome to sing along or even just hum. Hine Matov, Umanahin, Shevetachim, Gamyachad. Hine matov umanayim, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov umanayim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Umanayim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad I invite us into this fun song that tells us about the different things that are going to be part of our Passover Seder and it's like a checklist so I'm going to help us together if we look on our booklets, if we look on our screen, we have what do you say? And I invite you to join with me at least in the, the song part, the refrain. 
What do you say? What do you say? What do we need to prepare for this day? What do you say? What do you say? What do you think should be next on its way? I've got some monsters, one, two, three, covered with the cloth so no one can see. I've got a shank bone, long and thin, roasted and toasted, but it has no skin. I've got an egg, cooked in a pot. If you drop it, break it, you'll not. I've got my roar, my roar, oh my. It's so bitter, it can make you cry. I've got carosa, it's like glue. Nuts, fruit, wine, and cinnamon too. I've got some greens, fresh and clean. Parsley or celery that smell like spring. I've got some water, salty as the sea. Salty as tears from you and me. I've got some wine. Lots of wine, one, two, three, four glasses of wine. What do you say? What do you say? What do you need to prepare for this day? And now you're ready. The Seder plate. The most important thing on there is the bone. And the bone was used for when the children of Israel left Egypt. They have to be reminded of the bitter times they had. So we have the horse, horseradish, the maror. Then we have an egg. And the haroset is the mixture, the glue we sang about. And karpas, the parsley or the celery that dips in. The order of the Seder. On your screen and in your booklets, is a page that has all of the 14 things in order. So when we go through, we'll be able to find that 14 things happen when we make the Seder. Kadesh, bless the wine. Ur chatz, wash our hands. Karpas, dip parsley in salt water. Yachatz, break the middle matzah. Magi, tell this Passover story. Rachza, wash our hands with a prayer. Motzi, matzah, bless the matzah. Maror, bless the bitter herb. Koreich, make a sandwich and eat it of matzah and maror and charoset. Shulchan, ahoreich, and eat our dinner. Safun, find the hidden matzah, the afakoman. Barech, say the blessing after dinner. Hallel, sing songs to God. Near Tzah, next year in Jerusalem. Lighting of the candles. Now we're ready to say that the holiday is just like beginning. And we have the candles here. And I'm going to invite us into two prayers. The first one is going to be the prayer of the holiday. And the second one is the thank you, God. So you can see the candles in front of you and you're gonna be able to turn the candles and you'll be able to turn them clockwise. You're gonna turn them towards the right, just like I am. And the prayer that we're going to be saying is that God has commanded us to light the candles of the holiday. And the prayer in English for the second is gonna be that God has kept us alive and brought us to this occasion. So I want you to join with me. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kitshan of a mitzvah tov, v'tzivanu lahadlik ner shel yahom tov. And the Shehechi Yanu prayer that says, thank you God for keeping us alive. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Shehechi Yanu, v'kiyamanu, v'higiyanu, Lasman The first cup of wine or grape juice. So Kadesh is to pour the wine, and you have a bottle of grape juice, and you'll be able to pour a little. 
And remember, we're going to have four of them. That's what the song told us. We're going to have four of them. And if you're ready with me, we're going to be able to make the prayer that says, prayers, praise that are you, God, ruler of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Borei Peri Hagafen. And we already did the Shechianu, thank you God prayer. So now we're ready to drink since we poured a little bit for ourselves. Washing hands. Urchat is the one that tells us we're supposed to wash our hands before we eat something because we have to keep our hands clean. I'm not gonna make a prayer Our pass. To remind us of spring, but also to tell us that we have to experience some of the sadness that the people of Israel had. So we're going to take this carpas, this parsley, or the celery, and dip it into salt water. But when we do that, it's not just to dip it, we're going to make a prayer, and you'll see that's in your Haggadah, and you'll see it also on your screen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Borei Pri Adama, and you'll eat a little bit, or if you don't have it in front of you, we're teaching ourselves together that we all have this experience. Breaking of the Matzah. Now we're going to have us look at what makes our table and we pointed out about three pieces of matzah, and we're not ready to eat yet, but we are ready to break the middle part in half. This is a section called yachatz, and I'm gonna put my middle piece back. But what I'm going to do, I'm gonna hide the middle piece that I broke in half, and see if you can find where I hide it. The four questions. We're ready to have questions. Four questions. And the four questions that we're going to have are ones that have been given to us from a long, long time ago. Four questions that are going to be asking why is it different this night from all other nights? Why are we eating matzah? Why eating bitter herbs? Why are we dipping and dip even twice? Sebehol halelot anu kochlin Amen zu matza Amen zu matza Alayla haze Alayla haze kulo matza Alayla haze Alayla haze kulo matza On all other nights we eat 11 products of matza Why on this night only matza? But why on this night only matza? On all the other nights we eat all vegetables. Why in this night only bitter herbs? That this is being how we are leaning, and the melody goes like this: Shabachal halelot anu achlin ben yoshvin uvein masubin ben yoshvin uvein masubin halayla haze halayla haze kulan masubin. Halayla hazeh, halayla hazeh, kulan masubi. On all other nights, we eat sitting or reclining. On this night, we only recline. We lean towards the left. Now, we are free. 
So we have to get ready for feeling different. So last year we were slaves. The years before we were slaves, now we are free. And we'll have the wonderful song of Avadim Hayinu. Avadim Hayinu Hayinu Ata benechorim benechorim Avadim Hayinu Ata Ata benechorim Avadim Hayinu Ata benechorim benechorim Ata ata benechorim benechorim The Four Children of the Seder See that there were four kinds of children that are referred to the different kinds of questions that they would be asking So first is I don't know if I feel real familiar with all of this stuff. It's not something I know before. I have a whole bunch of questions. And the second child would say, I'm not comfortable when I have things that are suddenly planned around me. And the third one felt a bit confused. And the fourth child was looking around and didn't have anything to ask. The story of Passover. A long time ago, the Jews lived in Egypt. Pharaoh was the king. Pharaoh hated the Jews. The Jews were Pharaoh's slaves and worked every day. One Jewish woman had a baby and didn't want her baby to be a slave. She wanted her baby to be free. She made a basket and put the baby in the basket. The basket floated on the river. A princess saw the basket and found the baby. The princess named the baby Moses. When Moses grew up, he saw a bush on fire. God's voice came from the burning bush. God said to Moses, tell Pharaoh to free the Jewish slaves. Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh said, no, 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 I will not let them go. God was angry at Pharaoh. God made 10 plagues. What is a plague? A plague is an affliction or a calamity or something that harms a lot of people. We are going to read about the 10 plagues that God brought on the Egyptian people. We sent you some paper masks that represent these plagues. Pictures of the masks are on your screen. When you hear about a plague, hold up the mask that represents that plague or point to a person who is wearing it. So there's a fun song that shows that Pharaoh was bothered by one of the plagues, even though he didn't worry much about what the Egyptians were facing. One morning Pharaoh walked in his bed, there were frogs in his bed, and frogs on his head, frogs on his nose, and frogs on his toes. Frogs here, frogs there, frogs were jumping everywhere. The Ten Plagues. For the first plague, the water and the river became blood. The second plague, frogs happened and hopped all over Egypt. For the third plague, the Egyptians got lice. For the fourth plague, there were wild animals and the Egyptians were scared. For the fifth plague, the Egyptians' cows got very, very sick. For the sixth plague, the Egyptians got boils, bad skin problems all over. For the seventh plague, there was hail. You can imagine it did terrible things to the crops. For the eighth plague, there were locusts, and locusts ate up everything around that was available. And then there was the scary plague of darkness for three days. And can imagine what three days of darkness, but it says that the, the Jews did not have any darkness. They had light in their homes. And the last plague was that the Egyptian babies died. That's the 10th plague. 
the exodus from Egypt. Pharaoh said, I am tired of plagues. I want the Jews to leave Egypt. The Jews left and Pharaoh changed his mind. Pharaoh told his army to chase the Jews. The Jews ran to the sea. Moses asked God to help the Jews. God made a dry path through the sea. The Jews walked on the path. Then God made the ocean cover the path. Pharaoh's army could not follow the Jews. Moses and the Jews thanked God. The Jews were happy to be free. The Jews sang, danced, and celebrated. And so we need ourselves now to celebrate together. Help us celebrate with the song. Ava nagila hava nagila hava nagila venismechav hava nagila hava nagila hava nagila venismechav hava Well, what does it mean to have enough? Some of us have enough food. Some of us have enough sleep. Some of us have enough happy times. So long, long time ago, someone wrote a song called Dayenu. It would have been enough if we had just some of those things and not everything. So it's going to tell us about if God had only taken us out of Egypt, if God had only given us the Shabbat, and if God had only given us the Torah. Ilu otzi otzi anu otzi anu mi mitzrayim otzi anu mi mitzrayim da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da yenu da yenu da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da yenu da yenu Ilu natal natal lanu natal lanu et shabbat natal lanu et shabbat da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da yenu da yenu da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da da yenu da yenu da yenu Symbols of the Seder. There are three things that we have to teach that are so, so important. One of them is to make sure that Pesach, which is teaching us about the bone, the second one you can imagine is going to be the matzah, and you have a piece of matzah in front of you, or you probably remember from all the years ago that you had had matzah. And what has to go on the matzah? Yes, you remember right. There has to be bitter herbs. Maror is going to be on the matzah. So looking at the bitter herbs, the maror, we point out all of those. Matzah, we remind ourselves that the bread did not have a chance to rise. Maror is reminding us about bitter times that the children of Israel had had. We have a second cup of wine or grape juice. Baruch atah thank you God, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, king of the world, borei pri ha'gafen, who makes wine and grape juice. Washing hands. 
We didn't need any matzah yet. But you know, before we have any matzah, we're going to have to be washing our hands, but really do it in a way that has a bracha. And so if you can take your water, or if you don't have, you're able to let me wash my hands for all of us. You can see the prayer in the booklet. It says, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam. Thank you, God, King of the World. Asher Kitshana B'Mitzvotav Vitzivanu, who makes us holy with mitzvot, Vitzivanu, and tells us, Al Natilat Yadayim, to wash our hands. Eating matzah. Because we're ready to have matzah. So remember that we broke the middle matzah. So I am now going to get ready for that middle piece that's left. And we're going to say the prayer. And remember that anytime we're having matzah, it's like bread, except it doesn't have a chance to rise. So you're gonna join with me in the bracha on the matzah. And some of us have a piece of matzah in front of us. There are two parts of it. We're going to say first, Hamotzi, Baruch Atadonai, thank you God, Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, King of the world, Hamotzi Lecha Min Ha'aretz, who brings bread from the earth, and now the mitzvah part of it. Baruch Atadonai, thank you God, Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, King of the world, Asher Kitshana B'mitzvah, Tav, who makes us holy with mitzvot, Vitzivanu and tells us, Al Achilat Matzah, to eat matzah. And I invite you to eat a piece of matzah. Eating bitter herbs. And I'm going to break my piece of matzah so that I can put some bitter herbs on it. We already talked about that there were bitter herbs. We're so bitter. And in order to be able to remember the bitter times, so I have for us a little bit of bitter herbs. And remember what I said to us, we have dipping twice. So I'm going to be taking some sweet and that's going to go on top of my bitter herbs. And now we're ready for the bracha. The prayer over the bitter herbs is Baruch Ata Adonai, thank you God, Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, King of the world, Asher Kitshana B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu, who makes us holy with mitzvot, V'tzivanu and tells us, Alachilat Maror, to eat a bitter herb. The Hillel Sandwich. We've already had the matzah, and we've already had the bitter herbs and the charosa, and now we're going to be combining with matzah on top and bottom to make a hillo sandwich. Shulchan Orech. This is the time for eating the Passover dinner. Today, instead of eating, we will sing a song of thanks. And we'll be able to sing together the song, the beautiful song of Yismachu HaShamayim. Yismachu HaShamayim Yismachu HaShamayim Yismachu HaShamayim V'tagel HaRetz Yismachu HaShamayim Yismachu HaShamayim Yismachu HaShamayim V'tagel HaRetz Yiram HaYam Yiram HaYam Yiram HaYam Umlo Yiram HaYam Yiram Hayam, Yiram Hayam, Um Finding the Afikomen. You remember I hid a piece of matzah. So we have to go and see if we can find it somewhere. 
not on my table, not on my chair. Here it is. And this is called Safun, the hidden matzah. And what happens with this is a little bit of this is given to every single person. So try to imagine that I'm giving you a piece of matzah that lets us finish all of the eating of our Passover meal, of our Passover Seder. We actually are gonna drink a little bit more wine, but this is the end of all of our eating. And you would have to do after that, you have to say, thank you, God. So we have Baruch Atadonai, thank you, God. Hazan, for giving food, et hakol, to everyone. And we're thankful to God that allows us to appreciate the food that we have. Our third cup of wine or grape juice. Baruch Atadonai, thank you, God. Eloheinu Melech Olam, King of the World, Borei Pri Hagafen, who makes wine and grape juice. Hallel, a song of praise. Odoladonai. <laughs> Kito Kile Olam Hasto Yomana Yomarna Israel Kile Olam Yomarna Betaron Kile Olam Hasto Yomarna Yomarna Ide Adonai Kile Olam and now, our fourth and last cup. Baruch Atadonai, thank you, God. Eloheinu Melech Olam, King of the World, Borei Pri Hagafen, who makes wine and grape juice. Songs to conclude the Seder. Again, but we're celebrating about our connection to Israel. Some of us have been to Israel, some of us have seen pictures of Israel, but we're going to be singing a song about King David and reminding us that the Jewish people lives forever. David, Melech Israel, Chai, chai, bekayam. David, melech Israel. 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 Chai, chai, bekayam. a lovely song about God in alphabetical order. We're going to do some of those and you look on your screen and we'll be able to sing together Adir Hu. Adir Hu, Adir Hu, Ivne Beto Bekarov, Bimhera, Bimhera, Beyameno Bekarov. Zakai hu, if never 
tu me caro, mi mera, mi mera, te llame no me caro, el vené, el vené, vené, me tabe caro, rajum hu, shadai hu, takifu, y vené, ve tu me caro, mi mera, mi mera, me llame no me caro, el vené, el vené, vené, ve tu me caro. So because we were able to do things in order, we're going to have some songs that also remind us a little bit about order. And one of them is about a little goat. And unfortunately, the goat teaches us something about the different way that people hurt other people. But we remind ourselves that God cares about us. And so we'll be singing Chad Gadya, One Little Goat. So we did another one in order, and now we're ready for one more song in order. And that is going to be Who Knows One, Echad Mi Yodeya, reminding ourselves there's only one God. Who knows one? I know one. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heaven and the earth. Who knows two? I know two. Two are the tablets of the covenant. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heaven and the earth. Who knows three? I know three. Three are the patriarchs. Two are the tablets of the covenant. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heaven and the earth. Who knows four? I know four. Four are the matriarchs, three are the patriarchs, two are the tablets of the covenant. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heaven and the earth. Who knows five? I know five. Five are the books of the Torah. Four are the matriarchs, three are the patriarchs, two are the tablets of the covenant. One is our God, one is our God, one is our God in the heaven and the earth. Near Tsa, next year in Jerusalem. So the children of Israel, in their leaving Egypt, were all on a journey, and the journey was to get them to Israel. It took many, many, many years, and most of them did not get to Israel. But we can say next year in Jerusalem, we can say next year maybe we're all together. Next year maybe we're all safe. And if I can invite us into the three words of Lashana Haba Birushalayim, that's on your screen, that would be wonderful. Lashana Haba Birushalayim, Lashana Haba Birushalayim, Lashana Try again. The Shanna above the Shalai. 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 
Thank you for singing with me. Thank you to Rabbi Jeffrey Botnick, Rabbi Mario Roisman, Rabbi Edwin Farber, Cantor Gaston Bogomoni, Rich Berger, Judy Berger, Linda Witham Finken, Jenny Buckholtz, Adam Scheck, and video editing by Michelle Poreth.